everyone. Thanks for stopping in and watching us again. It's another day at Mentor Social. I'm Scott Hosbin. I'm Dashe Williams. And we appreciate your time. You know, last time we talked a little bit about the importance of networking. And that touches with what we're talking about today a little bit. Three factors that will guarantee your ability to level up. Because if, if you weren't interested in getting ahead, you're probably not watching our our podcast or into our app or anything out. You know, our sole goal is to find people who are inspired to do more with their life and bring them the right information to sort of feed them to get to the next level. So first step, working smart, Yes. right? Yes. I mean, it, it is so important and it runs through everything. So what does is, what is working smart look like, Shay? I, I mean, to you, what, what comes to mind most? First thing that I think of when I think of working smarter is it's really not about like the amount of time that you're putting into something, but the direct focus on the activity that you're doing, right? You want to pinpoint. So I'm going to relate this back to my basketball journey and let's look at it as far as practice, right? So say you're in the gym, you're putting in work, are you just aimlessly going there? Yeah, I'm just going to go in there just to shoot for five hours, just randomly shooting. But what are you working on, right? That's not working smarter. You're just really going to the gym and just putting up reckless, aimlessly shots. Yeah. It's not really going anywhere, exactly. right? So instead, you know, I'm going to focus. I'm going to go to the gym for an extra just one hour. But during that one hour, I'm going to break it down to five increments. I'm going to do ball handling for the first 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm going to work on my passing for the next 10. You know what? I, I really need to get better at free throws. So I'm going to work on my free throws. It's really about narrowing down and being more about precision, right? That's the key today. It's like precision. That's what I think about when I'm saying working smarter, not harder. How about you? What's yeah. your thoughts? No, I, I, mean, I was just thinking with what you said, it relates so much to, you know, any sport, whether it was, you know, kickboxing, the MMA, you know, you don't want to practice a thousand kicks that are wrong. You know, you'd be better to practice five that are right. You know, or, or you know, in golf, if you were... Some people get really excited about hitting a long drive, but if that long drive was 300 yards in the wrong direction, you actually just went backwards. You'd be better to go and hit the ball 100 yards in the direct line of where the, where the cup is. So I think it's, it's really key of what you said is taking a, you know, some sort of a skill that you want to obtain that gets you ahead and break that down into smaller increments, but then do it the right way. And how do you know that you're doing it the right way? I think something we're, we're keenly aware of, find a mentor. There's nothing more valuable than going out, find someone who's at that skill level of whatever it is you're looking to do and talk to them. Learn from their mistakes because inevitably most people make mistakes to get to where they are. What we're hoping to do is cut out a lot of those mistakes for younger generations or anyone seeking a path from someone else. You know, it's silly that humans have to keep making the same mistakes over when people ahead of them could have said, don't do that. So most important, find a mentor, talk to them, hear the mistakes that they made and don't make those mistakes. You don't have to make them. Like what I hear when I get from that is like, we learn from experience, correct? So like, when I'm looking for a coach, you're looking for someone who has, one, played the game, right? I'm not really going to take an information for someone who hasn't really played the game of basketball or at a serious or competitive level, right? So that's number one. Number two is did they do or do they seem credible, right? Can you look at their track record? Oh, this coach has this many wins. They sent this many people to play professional basketball overseas. Like the credentials, we really want to look at the background. So, like, there's a lot of stuff that go into what we're talking about, providing a mentor just – you want to make sure that that person is credible when you listen to the information. I know we spoke about it in another um, episode about like the information that you look at. You want to research, right? Research is the key. You really want to find out like what's the background. Do they have a LinkedIn profile? Does it look credible or does it like, oh, someone's just putting together some information mm -hmm. and they're just trying to really act like they're something that they're not. So that's a big thing for yep. you. I agree. And I think... You know, another key point, so as we talked about, you know, take a big skill, break it into smaller chunks, and then find someone that has those skills at, that are at the level that you want and learn from them. And a mentor is the ideal way. But not all the time is it always easy or has it been, you know, easily accessible to find someone for free to show you these things. So sometimes you might have to pay for that information. So again, you know, people often ask, I get asked all the time, oh, hey, I have 20 grand, what should I invest in? I have 30 grand, I have 50 grand. You should invest in yourself. 
if if you're you're talking a hundred thousand dollars and less, it's the easiest answer to tell you. Don't go buy stocks. Don't don't go start a new business. Go invest in yourself and get education so that you learn a skill that makes you more valuable. Period. That is working smart. So find a way to get those skills, and that may be you know another option that's that's available. Work for free for someone. You know, it's there's a lot of high level people. Seek people out that are doing what you would like to learn and offer your services as free. But most important, don't look at it as how are they going to help you. You've, you know, be very aware. Anyone successful has more people offering to work for free for no money for them to learn those skills and get access to those circles than, than, than they even know what to do with. So if they have to take the time to learn what you can do to be useful for them. Now they're, they're putting in time working for you. They're not going to spend that time. You would have to put it on a silver platter. Hey, I'm a great videographer. I can help make, um, you know, some content for you. I, you know, think of what skills you do have and relay that to them and offer those services in turn to learn what their business is that you'd like to get ahead. So, you know, a lot of different ways. So, you know, you can always work for someone for free. If you have money saved, you know, earn money doing a, a, a job you, you maybe want to get out of and put that money into education, into the skills, into the role that you'd like to see yourself. You know, the other thing is look for mentors. There are a lot of successful people that will take someone on. Maybe they see something special in you. That's very true. All that information that you just said was great information for sure. Yeah. Um, I kind of think of like when you just said all that things, right? In my head, I thought of my freshman year of college basketball, right? So it's like when you say working hard, yeah. right? Working hard, it's like you're not necessarily going to be noticed, but it's like you got to keep doing the grind. So coming as a freshman, you're not necessarily on the top of the coach's list. Like you have a lot to learn, the plays, this and that. So they don't really, I would say, expect as much out of you because they're looking for <laughs> like the upperclassmen to really lead the team. So I think of myself in that position. You have to continuously work yeah. hard, do the extra thing, yeah. keep working because your time will come. There was yep. a situation one time when I'm just sitting on the sideline waiting for my repetition to come, right? One of my teammates didn't know the play who was a starter. The coach said, you get in, you go do it. I studied the plays. I like literally studied the plays right before what happened. I got in, did exactly what I had to do, and who nice. ended up starting that game? Nice. I did. Great job. So it's just like looking at things like that, it might not seem that they're like looking at you, but don't worry about who's looking at you and who's watching you. Yeah. You focus on you. So that's why I'm trying to relate that back. How you said, like, believe in yourself. Invest yeah. in yourself. Yep. You have to believe in you first before you can get anyone else to believe in you, right? Yep. No one's going to believe you if you walk around, oh, no, I can't do it. You're going to get absolutely no believers. Nowhere. So you have to nope. smile, work hard, be ready to take absolutely. just accountability for everything, and your time will come. Yep. And that really brings us to sort of our second point. You know, First thing you need to do if you want to get a level up, you know, work smart. You number two, just like we, we talked about a lot of things there, you've got to work hard. And that's the second part. And a lot of people might not want to hear this. And I think some people even more so think they're working hard and don't realize what it takes to get up a level. So regardless of where you, you started in life, everyone can get ahead. We, we have examples everywhere of people that come from the worst economic conditions and become billionaires. But what does it take? It takes a lot. So I talk to a lot of people who say, geez, I'm already, I'm working 40 hours a week. What else can I be doing? You know what? If you're watching two hours a night of Netflix and you have $5,000 in the bank, you don't, you, you don't have enough to be watching Netflix. You can't afford it. The cost of Netflix isn't the $9.99 a month. It's what you could have been earning by working during those hours you're watching Netflix. And if you don't have, you're not at the level that you want to be, you can't afford time like that. So you, 40 hours a week is going to keep food on the table, a car, you know, rent. These are your minimums. And that's unfortunate for regular poor working class Americans, you've got to work and you got to work hard. So what it takes is that next step beyond that. So when you get out of work, there's got to be another thing. You've got to be putting in that hard work of, like we talked about, learning new skills that have higher values, seeking out mentors, 
networking, all of those things come into that point of, you know, hard work. And so again, you know, if you're not where you want to be, number one, make, can you, can you work smarter? Number two, can you work harder? I mean, the main word that popped into my head is sacrifice. And what I mean by that, when like you're saying work harder, like you're going to have to sacrifice something. So like you're saying, are you willing to give up those two hours of Netflix that you're walk you're watching after that nine to five job, right? Yeah. Like, are you going to invest in yourself during that time? Or what about, do you want to wake up a little bit earlier? Or do you want to do this? I think of the word sacrifice just simply because you're going to have to give something up to get to where you want to be, right? Yeah. Because once you really want to be, you're like, you know, I can actually afford to watch those two hours of Netflix now. Like, yeah. I gave up my time for this amount of time, and I worked so hard, I can enjoy the luxury of this. Like, this feels yeah. nice. Like, it should even take a load off. You know what? I have food on the table. I have this yeah. and that. Like, when you know your necessities Absolutely. and your basics are taken care of, this is like a dream come true. Like, so you really will have to, like, put into your mind that you are willing to sacrifice something to get to where you want to be. Yeah, you know, when you're talking, it made me think of how I say, choose your heart. You, you know, the thing you have to realize with life is that it's just not easy. You know, you've got to choose your heart. Do you want the hardness of working all day and then working on something else after? Or do you want the hardness of working all day and then never getting ahead in life? Because that's not easy either. Sitting there and when you get to that end of that day, you get to the pearly gates and you, you look down on your life and you're like, that's all I did with my life. Did I really give it 100%? And you wish you could go back and do more and you can't. So look, it's going to be hard either way. You might as well put in all the effort you can and go for it because that hard is going to be easier than what you think is the easy path. And like, I think we're talking to the people when we really like dial it in. We're talking to the people who really want it, right? You have to want it. You can't have force to. someone to do, uh, to sacrifice this and that. We're talking to the people who want to do something. I want to succeed. I want to be in this spot in my life. I want this. I want that. You truly have to have it deep down inside and be ready and willing to make that change to really get to where you need to be. Yeah. So really, it, you know, you can't underestimate the importance and power of the combination of working smart and hard together. But I think there's one key we often miss, and I think a lot of people don't realize this because they work really hard and they work really smart, and I'm sure we all know these people, but they're absent of one piece. Be a good person. Man, I think that is one of the most missed pieces of when you're trying to level up. So even yourself, you might think, hey, I'm a good person, I'm working hard, I'm working smart, I'm doing everything I can, and run through those buckets. If you're already working the hardest you can, you're working the smartest, you probably can become a better person. So you've got to self-reflect, dive in deep. What is it? Maybe, you know, Find some spiritual counseling. How can I be better? You know, Look, how, how many other people can I help? You know, If you're in business, is there ways within my business that I can do more to help more people? That is just, honestly, probably the most important, but yet, for me personally, I find that to be the easiest thing that everyone should be able to do or can do, right? Just be a nice person. And what I think about, I'm gonna ask you later, but like, what do we mean when we say be a nice person? It can be a variety of things, right? But having a positive attitude when you show up on a day-to-day -day basis, right? How you treat the person that you're talking to on a one-on-one -on -one basis, right? Are you nice? Do you go all your way? Just simple good morning sometimes. Like you have a smiling face when you're walking in. A lot of these things can just give off a positive aura and like show the people around you of like that is good energy that they want to be around. Yep. No, I've read thousands of business articles and I'll tell you what. No one talks about the importance of being a good person. And if you doubt the, the impact of that, look around. The more you do for people, the more you can do for charity, the more it's going to help you in the long run. Not just spiritually in, in feeling good, but you know what? Your vibe, your energy that goes out into the world, it makes a difference. And then the reality is when you're looking to do good, you're going to connect with people. You're going to understand them more. That makes you a better business person. You're going to learn more problems 
and learn how to solve those problems for people. Because at the end of the day, that's what we, we're all here to serve humankind and find ways to help other people solve problems. So I think one, you've got to really reflect and spiritually look into yourself and say, how, what am I doing? What can I give a better person? And two, look around, who can I help? These types of things very often are the missing link for people trying to get ahead. Yes. We pretty much said it. Those three key yeah. points that we focused in on today. Yes. Yeah, so work hard, work smart, be a better person. And if you do those three things every single time, if you want to go up a level, you look at yourself and you say, can I work harder? Can I work smarter? Can I become a better person? And you just keep filling those buckets. You will continuously get ahead. Thanks a lot for your time, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.